and real and I wanted to film it for my friends to show ourselves what we were doing. It was kind of like family videos at the time. I was thinking I'm going to make this and make movies for my, for my friends uh, and the teacher because I was no longer following my film career. I had given that up and but I still couldn't give up the camera. You know, I still wanted to make movies so I kept doing that. Now it took you, um, I, I know you said before, it took you four years to make the film. Yes. Uh, so four years to kind of go through 22 years of yeah. footage. What was it uh, like uh, when you were going back through everything? I thought it would take two years. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was very naive, yeah. um, but it was a four grueling years, I would say. Um, it was hard. It was really hard uh, because it's such a big story and it involves so many people and it's talking about something, it's, it's, it's approaching the concept of God. You know, we were talking about God every day and that's a very difficult subject uh, to talk about because there's so many perceptions of that. And so I think this film took on, I was trying to, to explain our idealism at the time. Um, not that we've lost it, uh, but our, our mind set, uh, our group think. And so it was difficult to also look at the footage because once you have lived all of it, mm. right, it, has, it takes on a different meaning. Uh, what we were thinking and seeing at the time, in hindsight, turned out to be much different. Um, and so I was exploring all those different aspects of it. Now, you know, when we hear about uh, these kinds of organizations, mm -hmm. uh, or these kinds of groups, you know, people think a certain thing or people have certain misconceptions. What would you say is like the biggest misconception that people may have? Um, the biggest misconception I think that I was up against with this was the word cult, um, because that has such a really bad connotation. You think of all types of cults we've heard about and they're all dangerous or satanic or murderers or gun toting or UFOs. And so we weren't those people. So the concepts that um, the qualities that make up a cult um, were prevalent in our group, even though we denied it. Uh, we thought, well, we're not a cult. Um, but you really have to have a teacher um, that you all look up to, like an omniscient figure that you give your power away to. And that's what qualifies as a cult. And, and they're called new religious movements now. They're, there's a whole new word for it because there's so many of them and there's so many different variations on it. Um, so I think the word was the hardest thing to get out from under that we were all stupid people you know, with, you know, that, like a curiosity. I mean, I know we weren't obviously the smartest people in the, in the world because we, we let this thing happen, but we were also really beautiful people who went on this idealistic journey, and so I wanted to capture the good and the bad that happened to us. So um, I think you talk about this in the film, and you can say it right now if you don't want to give too much, too, too, uh -huh. too much away. You said you don't like the word cult, so, so, so what word did you use? Well, I do like the word cult, only because it's a bit shocking. Um, and it's really hard. It helps us kind of snap out of what we were thinking because we, no one wants to think they're in that kind of mindset. And so at the beginning when I started working on it, I was like, we would use it almost as an irreverent way of talking about ourselves to go, yeah, you were in a cult because we were. And it's, 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 it's humbling to, to figure out how psychologically we allow things to happen to us that, you know, we wouldn't have normally allowed to have happen to us. All right, we are getting questions from uh, Facebook, from the comments. Uh, Jeanette asked, uh, did this uh, organization group have a lifelong effect on you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes, okay. a lifelong effect? Well, of course, I mean, 22 years is half of my life. I mean, the first 22 years of my life had a lifelong effect on me. <laughs> the next 22 years had a lifelong effect on me, and I imagine if I'm around for 22 years, I'll be a accumulating other effects that, you know, make and shape me. Um, did it have a lifelong negative effect is what I would add to that question. I would say yes, but nothing that we can't overcome. Mm. And it had also a lifelong positive effect, which are attributes I get to keep. So yeah, could you, could, could you talk about that? The positive part? Bit? Yeah, like what, 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 mm -hmm. what did you get out of this experience that was, that was positive for you? Well, I mean, we meditated every day for an hour in the morning, an hour at night. We learned how to walk and talk in a meditative state. Now, unfortunately, sometimes that can be um, like, you're, like you're compartmentalizing your feelings and you can kind of be in a trance-like state. But ours was like a very loving, love in motion type thing. And that's invaluable. Uh, that was something very, very invaluable to us um, that I learned how to do just by my own spiritual practice uh, and doing it for such a long period of time it kind of sticks. 
Um, so those are positive things. And of course, the community of people, my friends who are lifelong family members, um, you know, those are hard to create those kind of bonds in a modern society where everyone's running around and no audience, nobody's really paying attention to each other. So we have a lot of really amazing bonds with each other, intimate, and also my own personal self discovery is, is, is invaluable. Now, when you talk about like building lifelong friendships mm -hmm. and learning new things about yourself and other people, it, you know, it, it doesn't sound all the time too far off from, you know, other religions. So how, how would you say that this group is uh, different or than other religions, you say? Other religions or, or belief systems? Yeah, well, everyone has a different belief system and it's not that different. Uh, this was, again, like a new emerging religion. So um, everyone's looking for community, everyone's looking for a like-minded group thought and somehow we unified ourselves around this Eastern based philosophy uh, and it was extreme you know I mean a lot of people go to church on Sunday a lot of people have religious beliefs from all different formats but not everyone practices that religion walks and talks it every day and mm. so I think how we were different is that we were extreme in our practice yeah. uh, the guru teacher we had in that role who was reading and borrowing knowledge from books to give to us he um, gave us a lot of great teachings and we share those amongst ourselves every day. So we were really walking and talking this, this religion, this, this spirituality. Uh, Tony on Facebook asked, so, and, and she asked what I was thinking when I first saw the film, like they let you just film everything? Like, yeah. you know, how, how, what was it like to, 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 to document that? Yeah. Could you mm -hmm. explain how you got all this footage? Well, you know, at first when I pulled the camera out, the teacher wasn't so thrilled. I remember, he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I want to film, you know? <laughs> and um, I was 22 or 23, and I just wanted to film everything. I like to document my life. I always had, have done that since I was a child. I started filming my life and everything around me, basically so I can remember it, because I can't remember what I did last week, you know? If, unless I take a, a selfie of my meal and what I ate. So it's part of my memory, and um, I... I just started, so he was very wary of it at first, and then I made my first film about him, <laughs> um, you know, off of a Beatles song, because his name was Michelle at the time. He's changed his name many times since. But um, I made my first film called Michelle, My Bell, like, you know, that song. And he liked it. And it was, you know, it was all about him. And we were all focusing our love on him. And so he started to trust me to bring the camera out. And, um, but of course, when the camera would come out, his behavior would, would alter. And he would, he's a performer. So as a filmmaker, he kept giving me these great little performances. And I kept thinking, wow, I'm getting great footage. And <laughs> I'm documenting all my, my friends were beautiful and, and, and raw and real. And I, I just thought I was catching the, the best footage ever. And I, and I think I, I did capture a lot of great footage. So. so, you know, obviously a big chunk of your life uh, <laughs> was spent here. Um, do you ever feel like you're now making up for lost time? Oh, my God. We all feel like we're making up for lost time. <laughs> I mean, a lot of us got out of the group and we felt like we were, I was 22 again. I'm about 25 now, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know I look a little older, but we all felt mentally a part of us was retarded, was meaning slowed down, like parts of us weren't developed, um, parts of our desires, our, 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 our personalities. Um, so a lot of people, I think, started over. And like Chris, who's in the film, a uh, straight boy, uh, he says he felt like he was 19 again. He went back to college. I mean. These are things that happen. It was a, a social experiment that we did. <laughs> so, what's, so what's next for you? Well, I want to continue making films. I want to continue working with great people and making important things that are worth me putting my time into. I mean, I'm not just going to do anything, but I, there's a lot of great things and stories to be told and, and, and subjects to in, in explore. And I love narrative films. I love, I love a lot of things. So, All right. Again, Will Allen is the mind behind uh, Holy Hell, a film premiering tonight um, on CNN at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can watch it there. Will, yeah. thank you so much. Man. Thank you.